Megan if you're new here and welcome back to another vlog so you guys kind of saw like a little bit of a montage this morning of me just like in my day going and as you can see we're in the car I didn't get a chance to tell y'all but we're basically getting ready to go to the museum here in Chicago they have free days every so often it's usually during the winter time when nobody got nothing to do and they have like a free day so we're going to the museum we were supposed to be there earlier. They're about to close yeah, literally in two hours. <laughs> no, you don't have to come and add your little two cents. It's my <laughs> cousin's fault. Know. She came yeah, late. And um, yeah, so we got two hours to enjoy the museum. So just letting y'all know what's going on. So yeah, I just feel like somebody wants to kind of speak their mind and add to the conversation, but that's what it is. I got me a little pink drink. Shout out to my favorite barista, Ho. <laughs> Ben, I had put 2% milk in here. <laughs> I would be so sick if you did that. But anyway, I'll check with y'all when we get some music. parking spot so we're about to get ready to go in uh, the museum so I'll check with y'all soon. Callie you, you want to go to the museum? Yeah. You excited? You want to see the dinosaurs? No. No? <laughs> Callie said she's not filming the dinosaurs y'all. It's okay though. Indian or African? No, they African. She got a 27 piece. Oh, this is where we're going. Ancient Egypt. Now, if I came face to face with this, baby, that from the heart attack. Mm, is 
that's how they make clothes. That's how they wash their dishes. Pots. That's how they wash their dishes. Look at that. Fish. No. Oh, you see this thing she's doing right there? How she pounding it? That's how you make the coco yum. Cute. It's cute. There we go. That thing right there. This machine or thingy thing. And because these objects are a living history of baboon culture, baboon. they play a key role in many ceremonies. Here, the late king leaves his garden. Look at this, you guys. It says that a camel can go up to six months without drinking water, but it can't get water without the help of humans. That's so wild. And. But you know that the hump on the camel's back is just a lump of fat and they store it for energy. That's so crazy. trying to suck a strawberry off of me but as you guys can see i'm back home from the museum had such a good time only downfall is we only had two hours i would definitely say you need at least four hours really like almost five to really walk through the entire museum like if you really want to go all three floors look at all the exhibits you need at least four hours so yeah this camera is about to die hold on so as I was saying before my battery died, per usual, um, you really need like four hours to really explore the museums and really just like get a feel for everything. I think like our museums are really like top tier. Y'all know, well if you don't know, I don't travel a lot because I have an extreme fear of flying. Like I don't like planes. I be having a panic attack on the way to the airport, sitting in the airport, boarding, all that. I'm not a traveling girl. So I can't really say what museums look like in other cities, but I'm just going to rave about ours and say that we have the best. So if you ever come to Chicago, I definitely recommend checking out one of our museums. 
the Museum of Science and Industry, the Field Museum, our Shed Aquarium is really nice. We have a planetarium here as well. Um, the Dusabo Museum, which is like African American history, we have that as well. But we have a, like a lot of museums and things like that, attractions to check out. So if you're ever in Chicago, make sure you check out one of our museums. My favorite will probably be. I don't know I think the film museum I haven't been to science and industry in so long I think me and my boyfriend are gonna go there tomorrow because I think to tomorrow is like the last free day for the museum so we're gonna go check that out tomorrow so yeah I love our museums but anyway it is I'm looking at my watch this watch bro <laughs> ain't got no battery child so I don't even know why I'm looking at it I think it's about 6 30 I have dinner reservations with Ari at 7 15 the place is not far so it's not going to take me long to get there but I do kind of want to just change because y'all saw what I had on earlier. It's giving sweatpants, t-shirt, Uggs. I don't know that's not really giving girls night out going out for drinks. So I'm going to just change into something. I'm going to put on I think a pair of jeans. I think I may throw a blazer on top of this and then I'm going to change my hairband to whatever match whatever i wear so we're gonna do that put on a little bit of makeup because mm -hmm, i am not auditioning for the walking dead final season okay i'm not and that's what i look like right now because i have to put some makeup on but anyway let's go ahead and get ready and then we'll be right back okay so one thing about me i don't sit there and think about my outfit too long like i kind of think about what i want to wear in my head and then we just roll with it so i have this um blazer it's like navy with gold buttons or whatever i'm gonna just throw this on on top of this all white bodysuit and then i just have these high-waisted jeans from pretty little thing oh baby i just washed these and these are not gonna pass the wrinkle test so i definitely gotta iron damn i do not like to iron i promise you i don't but i can't hold you i gotta i gotta run iron over these and then because i had on my little backpack i am going to wear this bag right here i got this bag from coach a while ago and i never wore it and it's so stinking cute like i just need to take a full touch drive because it's been sitting in my closet and i never wore i just feel like she's super cute so just a little pop of color and now this is the taggy part this is the headband i got it got red and it got blue in it but as you can see baby this red is not this red but I, I'm still going to pull it. <laughs> I'm still going to pull it. So, first things first is, let me switch out these headbands. Ooh, child, pray my wig don't slide off with it. <laughs> is that, okay, I'll be having to make sure I'm still recording, child. All right, let's see. Yeah. I feel like she's cute okay my pants are on i'm about to do my makeup really quickly um i'm gonna try to use really natural or light products today to do my makeup because we only going to dinner and to be honest like it's late i'm gonna come home and wash it right off so i just prep my skin with the ordinary high adherence silicone primer and now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Eavesdrop. You know what? I don't even think I want to use this. No, change my mind. I'm going in with this expensive ass Dior makeup that I hardly ever touch. Because, baby, for $60, I better wear it. Okay? It was either $55 or $60. I can't remember. But I am just going to pour some of this on. Watch my red shirt. And just buff it in and you see it still look like my skin it just gives me like a nice little coverage 10 out of 10 would highly recommend this product if you are someone who like like I said like light makeup or just like really natural makeup and you're not really looking for light coverage but just more so want to even your skin out would definitely recommend this so that is good on the face 
now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Born This Way concealer. It just pops on right there, like so. I don't even need to do all that. I'm being extra. I'm gonna just put some underneath my dark circles. Down the bridge of my nose, cause y'all know I got that ugly scar on my nose that just will not fucking fade. Forehead. Mm. That's it. That's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Oh, I need some setting powder too. This is literally like my quick makeup routine. I'm looking at the time and I've been talking for three minutes. Half of that got to be edited out. So really it's only like takes me literally a second to do this. So the Selena Gomez, is that who make this? The Rare Beauty, I believe her name is Selena Gomez. Or Gonzalez, girl whoever. Um, the Rare Beauty, I like it, like the blush, but baby, pigmented, okay? Very pigmented. I feel like I should probably do this with a brush. Mm. Oh yeah, a stippling brush works gorgeous with this product. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I'm really trying to think who makes Rare Beauty. Is it, what is her name? I know it's Selena something. I believe it is Selena Gomez. I'm pretty sure. Don't know. Um, this is the uh, highlighter that I got in my Ipsy box from last vlog. I'm just, ooh. Okay. Do y'all see that? It's really just like a really nice, healthy glow. Love that. All right. I'm not filling in my brows. I'm just going to brush them up with some edge control gel. I'm so ghetto. This is my edge brush. Let's see if we can do it with this. Boom. Because why not? Don't be talking about me, y'all. It gets ghetto over here sometimes. But we just gonna fluff these up. Make them look laminated. Period. So this next product, I have not used this in a long time, but this was such my favorite. It's the ColourPop, the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the color Cherry on Top. This is so nice. Like if you, it's like a lip tint i would say you know if you just like like want your lips but like a little bit of color on them it's so nice so of course i'm going to overline my top lip <laughs> until i can afford some botox or do they put filler or do it does it matter like i don't know but as you can see it's like a really nice ready color and it's gonna dry down to make it look like it's like your lips but just better you can also um if you wanted to take a little bit powder and dab it on there to um take out some of the shine but because it's a dry like lip stain i like to put a little bit of lip moisturizer on my lips first and then i'll go in and add the ultra blotted, blotted lip on top you know what i'm saying but yeah this is the look and I'm about to get ready to add my blazer on top. See how this looks together. Oh, what is this? Maybe I need a lint roller. Oh, I don't think my fat stuff could fit this. Baby, barely. Now, the arms are a little short, but I like the white peeking through. So I think that that looks okay, actually. I'm going to put on... um another bracelet with it 
Then I'm gonna put my jeans on. Y'all can't see this part. Can you see my ass? Okay. <laughs> Throw my jeans on real quick. Ugh. All right, so I'm fully dressed for a fragrance tonight. I'm gonna be wearing my YSL Montberry. sprays is enough and I'm gonna show you guys the final look I love my makeup cute all right so uh, this is the outfit I have my blazer on with my white sleeves my bracelet my bag I put on my new Ugg because I want to be comfortable and um the little headband and everything but I like the way it turned out it looks really really cute giving kind of like preppy vibes and oh one other thing y'all that plastic up at my window to weatherize the windows or whatever because it gets really cold here in Chicago and when that wind blows it like literally the air blows through your house you know what I'm saying like especially if your windows need to be resale resealed we need our windows resealed soon maybe they'll be next year because <laughs> we're not adding that to the uh to the half of this year but um that's why so it's not ghetto a lot of people do it but anyway it's seven o'clock so let's go out the door all right so i am almost to the restaurant some a new spot never heard of i think i beat my friend here so i actually gotta find where it's at it's over here in this little court, court guard somewhere oh it's straight ahead If this is the place that I'm going to be going to tonight, it's a little bistro. Um, I just gotta find an entrance. You can eat outside or indoors. We're gonna be eating inside, but how the hell do we get in the inside is the question. That's the place. Oh, it smells good. Where the hell is the entrance? Oh my God. How do I get in here? Is it over here? That is not a door. Oh. Ciao. Oh. Okay, I'm going in. If I see you bust us have on I'm athletic, I wear track pants, never matching I'm a baller, watch me Euro to the basket Play no games, no way Play no games, no way It's an unflattering angle, but I made it back home from dinner I am out right now walking the dogs And I think when I get back in, I'm gonna clean up a little bit So just let y'all know, I made it back 
dinner was good drinks were trash and good yeah. morning you guys i just cleaned the shit out of my living room i washed my couch as you guys saw put the um covers back on and like my couch looked like a brand new couch all over again like love that for us Ain't nobody coming in here. I wiped all of that stuff down at the top. Got that nice and clean. Came over to my office area. Squeaky can clean this. And oh my God, I just, everything is so clean. I love it. And this, let me turn my brightness down. This olive tree is so stinking cute. I told my mom I wanted one for the kitchen. So this is gonna be going in the kitchen. It's not staying here, it's just here temporarily. But it's gonna go in the kitchen. I think it's gonna look so effing good and I cannot wait. Like I'm literally obsessed. Like, hello? Can we, can we focus? Can you focus on? Okay, but you see the little olives? It's so cute. I love that for us. But yeah, girl. But yeah, girl, it's really nice and clean in here. And um, the last thing I need to do now is just take the curtains down because those are about to go in the wash. I washed everything. Baby, I was even in here washing walls, okay? Washing walls and everything. So I'm about to take these curtains down and put those in a washer as well. If y'all see this hallway, y'all would scream just like y'all about to see my bedroom in five, four, three, two, one. What is this? <laughs> what? Baby, it is a mess. So I need to make my bed. I need to clean off the dresser. That's my coffee that I got um, that needs to go up. And yeah, it just, it, it just needs to be clean. Laundry, child, my hair products doing my hair hay wig like it's just giving a mess so this is my next thing to do and again i'm gonna be taking these curtains down as well to wash down with the ones in the living room so hey y'all so we are back in my favorite store aldi they have this um espresso maker on sale i was in here yesterday i was being cheap thinking about if i really needed it but really my nespresso machine like if i go to make a double shot it really only gives me the amount that i feel like would be in one shot so it's really old i've had it for quite some time it's really time to upgrade but baby y'all know nespresso makers are like 300 dollars, 200 if you catch an l sale now all these little things in here they got it for four dollars it was one that video on youtube with a review so i looked at the review and it seemed convincing i mean i threw away 40 dollars last night at dinner on drinks i didn't even drink so i just feel like why not so we're gonna run ahead and get it and go home and make us a coffee now. I definitely said in my last video that I was done with coffee. <laughs> but it ain't done with me. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all. So this is the espresso maker. As you can see, it's on sale for $40. I think the original price was $79.99. So, oh. I just grab one of these. What is girl? They need to get it together. All right, y'all. So I'm back in the car. I got the espresso maker. Um, it was forty dollars, and it does have the original um Nespresso capsules, which I already have. You could get these for the low at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that. They carry them, or you can buy them at um Bath, Bed and Beyond. They Oh, excuse me, also have it as well. So, baby, you know, when we get home, we open that right up. I was going to wait until the kitchen was together, but, child, I kind of open money right now. And then the last thing I got was this bar set. So, y'all know gold is my colors. I love gold accents everywhere. So, I think I'm going to have gold accents in the kitchen as well. So, I brought this. I feel like I already have one of these that I bought recently that's brand new in the box but if i do i'll keep this one and just give that new one to my sister because she um just bought a house not too long ago and she have a little bar set and all that stuff so girl it may just become hers if i do got one because I, I don't know what i'd be bad i just be spending money child but let's go on home child and finish cleaning up my house all right child so we have our espresso machine let's take it out of the box hmm. Wait, let me turn my brightness up. Can you guys see? Okay, you can see, okay. I just bumped it up one in case you guys couldn't see. But it's nice and packaged. Securely packaged, should I say. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Babe, I need to get an injection. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do some arm exercises. Oh, my God. Okay. The thing that I forgot to mention is all the products does come with a three year warranty. So if anything happened, you just call the number, let them know, blah, blah, blah. It comes with a user manual, warranty, all that good stuff. Y'all don't know me, I'm not reading nothing. We just gonna plug it up and watch it do what it do. As you guys can see, you have two cup sizes. You can do a double shot or like a single shot or whichever vice versa, single shot, double shot. This is where the pods go in at. You lift that up, you drop the capsule off in there, pretty much just like the Nespresso. Go ahead and close it off. And then that's when, you know, you can start brewing your coffee. The empty pods, can y'all be quiet, are going to drop into this little collector here. And as you can see, this is where you rest your cup on. You can also push it in if your cup is really big. This is where your water and stuff drop in at whatever waste or whatever. And then you have the water valve on the back, which is removable so you can fill it up, pop it back on and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo making a cup while I mute because my dogs won't shut the hell up. terrible in my room right now but I'm gonna do a taste test I had nuked it in the microwave because once you pour cold milk in it don't be right so okay it tastes good honestly <clears throat> truthfully speaking I can't tell a difference between if I was to use this or like my Nespresso machine. Like the the coffee richness tastes the same. Now I will say that I gotta read that user manual because y'all know I don't read instructions. And I was like, I ain't gotta read this, baby. You gotta read it because unlike my Nespresso machine, there is no on and off switch. And then also, when you making a coffee, like I had to hold the button for it to brew. Like I, you constantly have to hold the button. You shouldn't have to do that. You should just have to select which one you want. A short, a double shot, or a single shot. Press the button and let it go and be done with it. But I constantly had to hold the button. And I don't know if that was like a user issue or like a machine issue or like a programming issue, child. I don't know. So I'm going to read the book. And if it keep doing that, then baby, we know. Hello? Can I get my money back? Because we ain't going to do that. If you got all these by you and you've been wanting to try an espresso machine but just don't want to break the bank on it, I totally get it. Mm -hmm. Totally get it. That's a definitely a cheaper alternative. Like I said, taste-wise, cannot tell the difference. There is a little difference with the functionality of the machine itself. But again, that could be my slow ass not doing something right or it could just be them tweaking. Do y'all see this? I do not wish to communicate right now. Come back later. Leave me alone. But other than that, it's it's cool. It's it's cool. It's a cheaper alternative. Um, but I'm about to just finish cleaning up my room because y'all, I lay down. Do y'all watch Your Honor on Showtime? It just came back on. I watched episode one of season two, baby. This season finna be seasoning, okay? It's the it's finna get down to the nitty gritty. And if you don't got Showtime, girl, go ahead and do a little free trial real quick. Do a little free trial so you can watch it and we can talk about it in the comments because girl it is good. Now I rewatched season one the other day and it gave me everything I needed to know. Mm. 
but I'm about to finish cleaning up and quit procrastinating because today my last off day. I was supposed to be having like a whole day day with my boyfriend, but child, I told him, baby, look, I got to clean up my house. Let's catch dinner or something. So I'm going to see what he say. Maybe we'll just get a late dinner and that be that because we haven't really hung out <sighs> in about two weeks. I'm just really not a dateable person. <laughs> That's really what it is, but I'll be back. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, Jesus Christ. We gotta fit us at that spot. I'll go in there. y'all my mom got the ceiling fan up shout out to her for doing all the heavy lifting lifting i literally just came in to assist but right now i'm gonna change the bulbs out um these are the bulbs that came with it but they are warm i hate warm lighting like it's not a vibe not my thing would not recommend it so um i have some daylight bulbs which is like pure stock white and that's the ones that I'm going to be putting in there. So I'm going to change those out real quick. I don't even know if y'all can see the difference the other one was much warmer and then these are pure white i gotta find one more bulb child because i know i got one but yeah the light is up okay y'all y'all gotta disregard the background we are very much so still under construction child like girl it's a mess in here but we getting it together slowly but surely um y'all know the other day two days ago when i talked to y'all i told y'all i was tired of eating takeout child i'm tired of eating takeout so tonight we're gonna make on a little dinner. It's like we having a home cooked meal, but it's kind of pre-made for us. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. A little Trader Joe's, a little razzle dazzle. So we about to make birria tacos, y'all. Those joints have been all over social media. It's probably like a little old news, <laughs> to be honest. But I just now saw them in Trader Joe's, and y'all know I go to Trader Joe's all the time, but I didn't need to get them. So anyway, we're gonna be trying that out. We're gonna be making it for dinner. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. something you take down? Um, no. Okay, so uh, these are the beef birria tacos. If you guys are not familiar with them from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm gonna be using some corn tortillas, some regular cheese for my mom. And then y'all know me, I like my almond mozzarella shreds. That's what I'm gonna be using for mine. I got a, a bell pepper, a onion, and some cilantro so let's just go ahead and get to it yeah i wanted to make some spanish rice but all these was all out so we got some jambalaya real ghetto but we just gonna make this okay because rice is rice at the end of the day but i'm not gonna be doing much talking i'm gonna just let y'all watch me cook
supposed to have like what beer you supposed to have like the sauce to dip it in wasn't enough sauce left over to dip anything in i think the meat just soaked it all up and then you have to dip the tortilla in it and cook it and all that stuff so i feel like that sucks all the juice up somebody on um tiktok said that it's best to buy two packs so that way you have some juice left over i even tried adding a little bit of broth in it and girl i still had no juice left over but anyway let me go ahead and taste this because i am really interested and what it's giving. Oh child. One of them fell apart. Lord Jesus. Oh it's hot too. No. No stop. Baby, I'm not even gonna hold you. This right here, delicious, delicious. And it's so easy to make. If you have not tried this, don't walk, but run to Trader Joe's and get you one. Baby, this is probably about the best thing I ever ate. Mm. Oh my God. How they looking at me? I think they influenced by me. They say they not with me, alright. Wish how they looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. She want me to show some things. But right now I'm focused on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tightrope. I never fall off this light work. No one's people trying to see me down real bad. Same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pot, bitch. Shaking my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drops. Tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that distance. They be hating on me because they see I'm gifted. It's all from the soil, 3D printed. I've been doing me like I got a blink check. I've been decking shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch stage, cross seas on me. No drama, more flights. Next year's looking lit. I'm laid up with somebody grass. I'm burning the gas to my last breath. Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high, you can't see me, I'm seated She wanna beat me, I'm trying to do Fiji, I live on the island alone I'm trying to be one with my aura before I allow your soul She want more than a flame Want me to give her that moonlight Everything not what it seems Real one from the jump start 
Gotta watch step on a tightrope. I never fall off this light work. Lord knows it's God's work. us okay everybody loves a good weekend y'all i know i do because monday to friday be beating me down but it's so crazy because i didn't even really work last week i was on pto till wednesday i went back for thursday and friday and then i'm on off work again i love that for us but anyway today is saturday you guys saw i just woke up and made my bed now last night i showed y'all me trying out that face mask and writing in my to-do list for my you know agenda y'all mm -hmm. i was so tired i was dog tired i went to sleep as soon as i Put that mask on i fell asleep in that mask okay i woke up a couple hours later snatched it off my face balled it up put it on the side of my bed and went back to sleep but what i will say is when i woke up my face feels really nice smooth and hydrated and again i put nothing on my face besides that mask when i got out the shower or whatever and did my little grooming thing y'all that mask is really nice like i would definitely consider purchasing it outside of you know receiving it in my ipsy my MC bag so definitely like it definitely hydrating definitely left my skin feeling really soft and plump i feel like i cannot find my words this morning but anyways because saturday we do got a couple of errands to run I, I need to get ready to go and take my dogs out first thing like i like to do when i wake up in the morning it's not even about me honey i don't even exist my knees don't exist i ain't brush my teeth i ain't wash my face i feel a saliva just like in my mouth just just oh uh, i want to brush my teeth so bad but it ain't about me i gotta go take my kids out first so we're about to go walk my dolls then i come back and and then take care of mommy mm -hmm. mommy comes last on the list if any parents know that i mean i only have dolls but they're still my children they still are number one on my priority list so let's go walk my babies <music>
much already at the shopping centers now i'm actually about to turn in um so i didn't realize i had more <laughs> errands than i thought to run today um i have a bath and body works coupon you know if you spend so much you get a free gift and my free gift is expiring in two days and i'm not coming back out this way to get it so i'm gonna stop there and grab that i wanted to get a couple of things from whole foods but i really don't think there is a lot i need to get from whole foods besides like i wanted some yogurt and it's like dairy free heavy whipping cream because i wanted to make like some creamy salmon dinner situation but i'm not going to be doing any like real grocery shopping until i get my kitchen back together so that way i could just like look and see like what i really need what i don't really need child i don't even know how i'm coming through this lot um and i'm just not like buying unnecessary stuff so i'm not going to do any real grocery shopping until then um So his nails are on sale for two dollars. I'm gonna definitely grab me a pair to put on. I don't know which one, so oh that's way it's old. This is cute. These are only two dollars, one eighty nine. Oh my god, everything soft velvet. Everything, all these nails are only two dollars. Y'all, I'm about to stock up and go crazy. Trust will leave. All right, you guys, back in the car. I finished in the few stores. I was looking for this when I was in um, freaking Whole Foods. I could not find my tripod. I was like, I know I had my tripod because I was on the phone running my mouth when I got out the door. Oh, I need to turn my brightness back up. I had wanted a dark aesthetic when I was in the store. Um, but anyway, I finished in all of the stores and now I need to go and head to Target to get the dog's dog food. And then lastly, I'm going to swing over to what's it called home goods y'all when i was in um alta i had grabbed a whole bunch of those fingernails trying to figure out which ones was the ones for two dollars and out of every one that i grabbed i only found two of them that was the ones that was on sale for two dollars but i'll show you the ones that i got that were on sale but i'm like i'm gonna need y'all to have a better system than this because this system is not systeming for me like no um oh i need some gas too so gonna go get gas gonna go to target we're gonna go pee because when i was in 
Alter IP and I have to pee again. I told y'all, this, this right here, pissy pot, pissy pot. my gas off and it, you know, take the thing out. And I get cornered by the Jehovah Witness. Y'all, baby, they getting crafty. They is getting real crafty. Cause y'all had it, y'all hitting out pamphlets at the gas station. Y'all, I said, Lord, maybe, maybe God had told her. Y'all saw how that just happened. Camera just flipped, fell, ain't fell this whole time. I start at the mouth talking about your whole witness. Girl, God said I got something for you. So I'm sorry. Let me just go ahead and receive that message and, and, and do what I will with it, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Let me go. Looking at these things to hang over the stove above the shelf that's gonna go in there. So I don't like the um, bows that they have on it. I was even thinking about a pop of color, like a purple. I think that would be super cute. But I'm still indecisive on these. The one I really love is this one right here, but I just feel like those white leaves are gonna get dirty with it being over the stove and the grease and condensation and all that stuff. So I don't know. I like this one but I hate this bow. I just hate the bow. If they just had that, it's fine. But I'm gonna hold off on getting these for now. <laughs> greenery and then I like this one but this one is too small it's only a 14 by 18 I need something a little bit bigger maybe like a 20 at least but that's cute I even like the one oh, in the back there oh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous how much is this $50 oh, I do like this I really do like this that's so cute love it all right, picture wise, I'm not finding much. So what I do got, which is mostly just coffee and some stuff for the house, I am just gonna check out. I think once the kitchen is together, I'll come back and revisit the photo section again. Hi, can I have a chicken sandwich with no mayo, just pickles and a, a sweet heat on the side? Yep.
I am obviously back home um, from running all those errands. Like, literally, I feel like I've been gone all day. Probably because I have been gone all day. But anyway, let's do a quick little haul of everything I got so I can um, start putting this stuff away. Daddy, don't come up in here and start growling. Like, because you're going to get kicked out. Annoying. But anyway, let's start with um alta as i told you they had a whole bunch of press on nails for sale but the annoying part about it is none of these nails have names on it and like for the sale sign it had the name on the tag like kiss gel fantasy nails in a style let me be bright and then you look on the box and you don't see nothing called let me be bright it's just really annoying but anyway i got a total of four five pairs of nails um two of them are so stinking cute so the first one is for my birthday these are definitely my birthday nails they are so fire hopefully y'all can see them like hello they have like a little gold tip on them and they're like this peachy color oh my god these are definitely my birthday nails so freaking fire and then these are also really cute these are just gonna be whenever type of nails because i'm just so thirsty to wear these these are a medium by the way and y'all know i hate long nails but baby we're gonna figure it out in these because these are too cute these are a pair of the ones that was on sale for a dollar and 90 cent so i got two of those and then lastly, I got this style right here. This was also, I think this was $2.50, but they're cute too. They're black. Um, I don't really try to go for black nails too often because I'm really dark skinned. And I just don't think it looks flattering on me because I'm so dark with, um, you know, black nails. And then I have been hearing a lot about the brand Good Molecules. It's supposed to be like an affordable healthcare brand, like The Ordinary. So I tried out their Niacinamide Serum. It's supposed to refine skin texture and minimize pores. I don't think I have anything with Niacinamide right now, so I got that. And then I also got this pink nail glue for my nails. I personally like the nail glue from the Beauty Supply Store. I don't know the name of it. Ain't no technical name. It's literally in a blue, like a white bottle with a purple top. So that to me is the best for press ons. Like once I put my press ons on, I don't experience them popping them off. Like seven to ten days. Full run. Full run. Everything that I got from Ulta. Now let's go to Target. First thing I got was this deodorant. It's from Dove. It's their 0% aluminum. It's in a scent lavender and vanilla. It smells very fresh. It's not like overpoweringly uh, fragrant. So I do like that. I don't think this is a 100% natural deodorant. It's just the deodorant without aluminum. Um, Y'all know I typically wear natural deodorant. Schmitz is my favorite. Um, but I wanted to try this out because it says 48 hours of odor free coverage. And y'all know in my last video I told you that natural deodorant be having me cutting up sometimes. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. If I'm really being physically, you know what I'm saying, that day. It ain't working. I don't think I put no deodorant on today. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't put no deodorant on today. I forgot. And I don't, smell, I don't smell bad. But then on the up and up, it's 30 degrees outside and it feels like it's 15. It's fucking cold. So there was no sweat to be had. Um, I also got some Celsius from Target. I got the Passion Mango Passion Fruit and Strawberry Guava. Have not tried neither one of those before. So that'll be new to me. I also got some more Olipops. You know this... Um, tonic type of prebiotic probiotic healthy gut type of soda it's not real soda it's a sparkling tonic but it tastes like pop so if you're trying to kick pop and you don't want to do the soda no more get you some they're really good next up i got these from the dollar spot they are just some glass spray bottles i feel like this will be really cute aesthetically pleasing for the kitchen so i'll put like a multi-purpose cleaner in here and maybe something else in here i don't know but um i just thought this was so cute and it will look nice on the counter or either in the cabinets just display you know what i'm saying without like the regular mumbo jumbo thing and then it does come with label makers in here so whatever you mix in there you can put a label on it so love that for us the last thing that i got from target were new harnesses for the boys now the harnesses that they currently have are these right here which i love because literally they just step their little feet in it and then you snap it at the top but it also has like this velcro-y like thing 
But after so many washes, this wears off. It's gone and, and good. No use. And I know you can replace that, but child, I'm not doing that. I'm not sewing. So yeah, that way I don't have to worry about that. I can wash these as many as times as I want to because they just have the little clamps on them. So this is how you secure them in there. I try them on them and it really holds them, you know, holds them back in case I gotta jank them back because they be acting ghetto sometimes. But yeah, I got two of them. And honestly, I got two smalls for them. And Teddy is a little bit bigger than his brother. So my dogs, um, they're brothers, but they're from different litters. So Shadow is technically a year older than Teddy. But Teddy, his body shape is more Maltese. And then Shadow shape is more shit too. So they're shit too Maltese. But anyway, all this to say, Teddy needed a little bit of sad let, let out of his. And Shadow is a little sunk in. So when I go to put them on, how am I going to tell who's who? I might write their name on here to make it easy for me. Moving on to home goods. The first thing I got was this Super Greens Power Blend Powder. It has like beets, celery, wheatgrass, barley, broccoli, kale, spinach, spirulina. Like it has a lot of stuff in here. I thought it was going to be rich in fiber, but girls, they only got 1%. I need something that's going to help me shit. Okay, and this is not going to do it, but it's going to give me a little bit more greens in my diet. And since I've been on the smoothie kick, I feel like this would... This will be good for that. You can also drink this with just cold water. <laughs> I probably won't do that, but you know, do as you please. Do as you please. And then the next thing I got was this fresh citrus kitchen refresher, odorizer, cleaner, blah, blah, blah. It's basically a natural cleaner with an essential oil. Um, it says it's safe, gentle, cuts grease and grime, vegan, paraben free, and all that good jazz. This was $3 or $4. And my friend has this. She said she spray on her countertop and it makes the whole kitchen smell good. So, hello, the influencer is easily influenced. So, I picked that up. I'm pretty sure they got it at Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, whatever. You know, they all the chain child. So, if you see this in the store, definitely check this out. The next thing I got was this little coffee cup. Hello. I just thought this was so stinking cute. Now, here's the gag for this. There, you see how small this is? And you see how wide it is? It's really not practical as a coffee cup to be serious, but it will be a cute cappuccino cup. So I won't call it a coffee cup. I'll call it a cappuccino cup because, baby, only one shot is what you get in here. One shot of espresso. That's it. Little cream. That's it. That's all. Pack it up. It's over with after that. So I just thought it was so cute. I just really loved the characteristic of it. It was very much selling me. It was very much a vibe. So I got that. And then you guys saw that I also got the coffee pods. I told you if you have a old school Nespresso maker or if you was interested in getting that um, Nespresso maker from um, Aldi, they take the original Nespresso pods. So I got three boxes of these. These were only $2. And then I got one Starbucks, their breakfast plan. And this was $3. So girl, we got coffee for days. And I think you get 10 in each of these. So that's 40 capsules for less than $10. 40 cups of coffee, less than $10. Hello? Say hello, somebody. Because Starbucks, that's going to Starbucks maybe once, maybe twice. Because you want to pay $6 for a drink, depending on the size. So baby, I got 40 cups of coffee for the price of one of y'all Starbucks drinks. Think about it.
all right you guys so this is the green accent wall i absolutely love it um i still have to paint the trim white and this is the gray wall over on the side i have to do a few like touch-ups um with my little painting girl cutting them corners but yeah um the trim is going to be white just like this trim is here um and like i said i have to finish going all the way around but i absolutely love the color of this green it is so stinking cute i did take that light fixture down and clean it because it was really dirty like it just had to be deeply cleaned so that has to get hung back up right now i do just have a pigtail or i think that's what they call it but like a temporary light source up right there you guys saw the ceiling fan went in i love it um at first i had like this track lighting system up there and i absolutely hate it because it was not giving the kitchen enough brightness and having a fan also really comes in handy um this side of the kitchen is pretty much finished with being painted gray and the cabinets are going to be going in soon so i love that Alright you guys, so that is going to be it for this week's weekly vlog. I'm sorry this was a long one, but I just honestly didn't want to split the video into two parts because it wouldn't have made sense. So, hmm, hope you enjoyed the extra 16 minutes. I will see you guys in next week's vlog with hopefully a finished kitchen. Thank you for watching. See you guys.